This is Dabu7. Very important video here in regards to this most recent earthquake, and it raises questions, the specific question as to was this man made. Reason so many questions are arising to this is because of we have a series of circumstances that are coming together here, and most notably, there is a cache of natural resources that sit in this area specifically. And in one of these areas where the dam gave and where all these people had to be evacuated and they're labeling some of it a total disaster zone, they're saying that it's going to be uninhabitable and that people are not going to be able to go back into these places to live. It's deemed too dangerous. Now, immediately swooping in are the hawks that are coming in to try to take this land or seize this land, get their hands on this, for the natural resources that are there. Now, we look at some other curious things that really start to raise some eyebrows because when the Japan quake happened, there was speculation as to a lot of things that could have went down that had caused the initial quake. And for those out there that think that it's not possible, it is indeed. They've shown it in many different science clips and everything else. They can cause earthquakes simply by putting enough pressure or energy or frequency on the right spot of a fault. Now, you may have also noticed here recently with some of the hurricanes that have come through that you, will, you would see odd quakes popping up, and it's because of the pressure put on the plates coming up through that area. They can apply the same thing with different technology. Now, was there anything seen in the area? It just so happens that this almost top secret research vessel that flies the, the flag of Panama, which is being operated by the alphabet gangs. And it shows here its last check-in was off the coast of Panama which it is not. And you can see the image of it here. The Amazon warrior was photographed. It is the world's biggest seismic blasting ship. And it was right off his beach. Sitting right on top of where the quake hit. What are the odds of that? And what are the odds that FEMA was in town the week prior, scouting and scoping things out? Something just went down big time with this quake that is still ringing like a bell. Evidence? Well, we see the world's biggest seismic blasting ship, the Amazon Warrior, sitting right over top of where this quake hit. And as soon as it hits, disaster strikes these regions, these people, pulled out, and it was sitting off the coast. You want to know why? As he states here, it was hiding from the protesters. Didn't want, didn't want to have contact with the people in there. It's been allowed in by Energy and Resource Minister Simon Bridges as part of the Na National Party's deep sea oil gamble. Are you starting to see here? So what are the odds of all this? FEMA in town early, the world's biggest seismic blasting ship sitting there right on top of where this quake went down. And now they're swooping in and taking over all the natural resources. This is where it sits. This is what has happened. And these are the things I've come across here that I think people need to see. Uh, more information at these links. You can read up into the ties. All these other links showing exactly what is going on here. Very interesting information. 
Very, if you ask me. That this bla- the world's largest seismic blasting ship is sitting right over top of where this quake hit. And seeing these most recent quakes down here, I think we're going to see another quake. We may see another, uh, p- potentially another big quake. I'm not sure where, but this one, because of the ridge lines, you can see it better off this map. This most recent quake is literally hitting the swarm right where that ship was spotted. Taken off that coast of Wellington, where it was sitting out in here. So they're still hitting. Magnitude 5. Regardless, what are the odds? What are the odds? What are the odds? FEMA in town early. The website's still showing that it's sitting off the coast of Panama, but yet we got an admission that they allowed it into the area because of this whole thing going on. And Stefan Browning, MP, much love. I don't think they wanted many people to know that this bad boy was in the area. It sure was. And who knows where it's sitting right now. Because the map's going to tell you it's parked off of Panama and it's been there. Actually, they checked in on the 14th yesterday. It's not the case. So, that's the latest. And very suspect to me. You have all these coincidences. FEMA in town early. World's largest seismic blasting ship sitting right on top of where this massive quake hit. All these people pulled out of these areas and now they're swooping in for the resources. It just goes to show, even if they did not trigger it, that they knew something ahead of time with FEMA in town and more. There's more details here at this article. Um, Make sure you guys check it out. And uh, for those of you looking to stock up on medicine, medical supplies... Check out our recent sponsor, the Essential Drug Store. Chose to go with these guys specifically for that, for a crisis situation. Antibiotics, insulin, things of that nature. It's there if you guys need it. If you guys got any information you want to get to me, dabu7yahoo.com. Let me know. I'll play my part in getting it out there. Till next time, this has been Dabu7. Eyes open.